Thank you for coming along on my boss mom journey, trying to keep it together and figure things out along the way. Let's get started. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these feathered appliques. Um, so I'm making these feathered appliques for a dress that I am designing. And um, pretty much the dress has like, going to have feathers like distributed all on the bottom of the dress. And I did not want the feathers to be sewn inside of the dress because the design is kind of like everywhere. So this is the feathers. And as you can see, the feather has this little ribbon on it. So I did not want this ribbon to be shown once I do cut them in little pieces. This is what it looks like. So I did not want this ribbon to be shown. So what my idea was, it's like, hey, let me use the fabric that I uh, pretty much am using for the dress, which is this isn't it beautiful and cut little pieces from this like this and glue it on the tips so for this project if you wanted to do something like this make your own feathered applique you will need fabric preferably fabric that goes the, the same color of your dress or similar scissors to cut the applique out um a glue gun and hot glue sticks this is my glue gun and that's my hot glue stick i have a lot of them but you really don't need too many for it to be honest you're gonna need a ribbon of course and ribbon sorry feathers on the ribbon of course so what you're gonna do is you're going to cut um, the feathers and the ribbon right in between where the feathers um, rows in so you can cut it as small as you want and wide as you want mine are this big because of the fact that um, I will be putting it like I said all over the dress so they don't need to be huge um, and these are some of the applique that I made already now this one as you can see is a little wider only because I wanted to use as much um, much of the fabric as I wanted to. But I'm going to cut in between. But this is an idea if you wanted to actually make the, um, the fabric um, or the ribbon on the applique a little wider. And here's another one that looks like it's like one on one side, one on the other side again. You can leave it like that. But me, I'm going to cut it right in between to pretty much space it out all over the dress. So this is what you do. You take the back of your fabric, which is this, excuse what's on my finger, it's actually glue, hot glue. You're gonna take the back of the fabric and I'm using this sequence um, purple um, fabric. I'm gonna take the back of the fabric and then you're gonna take your glue gun and you're gonna go squeeze a little bit of glue, not much, just a little dot as you can see, just a tiny bit. So you're gonna squeeze a little bit of glue and then you're gonna take your ribbon and you're gonna go like, just like that, bam. And just like that, you have a feather applique. Let me show you what it looks like, bam. Bam, like I said, you can make this as big as you want. You can cut, um, you can even cut out the pattern of the lace and maybe cut the put the whole feathers on the back of that that might be a design that i'll do later on down the line now that i um, came up with this great idea so i have so many of these already and what i like about this doing this is that i literally could just sit here glue and watch tv such a low um low maintenance um project um, most of the time i'm behind a sewing machine so I'll be showing you exactly how this looks um, on the dress. So you'll get to see what it looks like before and what it's gonna look like after. Now keep in mind, I created, I, I actually designed the whole dress. So the whole dress is designed by me. And then this is a little pizzazz I'm going to add to the dress. So without further ado, this is what the dress looks like before and after. 
so this is the dress that i made and it is all done so now i will be placing my appliques that i made along the bottom of the dress and i will be spreading it out so i wanted to show you it before So that's before. And then I'll be showing you what it looks like after I'm done. Now I'm going to be probably hand sewing them on. Um, it's gonna take quite a bit of time, but um, I think it's gonna be a lot neater than going ahead and gluing them to the dress, which most people usually do. But I like to hand sew, so we're gonna hand sew. All right, so this is how it looks so far. As you can see, I'm literally just hand sewing it. I'm just tacking it. I'm literally just tacking um, behind it. And that's it. Can't wait to show you guys what it's done. So I am all done. This is what it looks like. I actually added it on the side of the sleeve a little bit. I'm so pleased with the outcome. Because again, you don't see the ribbon. You just see the sequence. So it looks like it's literally a part of the fabric. Look at that. That's the back. So pleased. Can't wait to see her face when she sees her dress. So that is how I create feathered applique using the fabric sequence. And this is what the dress looks like on her. I am so happy with that outcome. She loved the dress. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.